Hey everybody, Ahmad Tufail here, and let me tell you, I've seen more building disasters than I can count, and you know what's at the root of most of them? Bad soil. That's right folks, before you even think about pouring concrete, you gotta know what you're building on. It's like this, you wouldn't build a house on a swamp without expecting it to sink, would you? The same goes for any type of soil. Every building site is different, and each type of soil comes with its own set of challenges. That's why we're talking about the essential soil tests every builder should know. We're going to dig deep into the why, the how, and the what happens if you don't of these crucial tests. We're talking about making sure your investment, your blood, sweat, and tears are going into a structure that will stand the test of time. So, stick with me, and let's lay down a solid foundation for your next project. First up, we've got the soil compaction test. This one's all about figuring out how much weight your soil can handle. Think of it like this. You're putting the soil in the ring for a heavyweight match. You need to know if it can take a punch without turning into mush. We do this by compacting the soil in a controlled way and then measuring its density. Now the density we're looking for depends on the project and the building codes in your area. But trust me, getting this right is crucial, especially for foundations. If your soil is too loose, it can compress under the weight of your structure, leading to cracks, settling, and a whole lot of headaches. We're talking about doors that won't close, windows that stick, and floors that feel more like a trampoline. Nobody wants that. Next up is the moisture content test. This one tells us how much water is hanging out in your soil. Now, you might think water, what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you, too much or too little moisture can turn your building site into a disaster zone. Too much water and your soil becomes weak and unstable like a soggy biscuit. Too little, and it can dry out and shrink, causing your foundation to shift and crack. Neither scenario is good, believe me. That's why we do this test. We take a sample of the soil, weigh it, dry it out completely, and then weigh it again. The difference tells us the moisture content. This information is key for choosing the right foundation type and ensuring proper drainage around your structure. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty with the Atterberg limits test. This one might sound a bit fancy, but it's all about understanding how your soil behaves at different moisture levels. Think of it like this. Soil is like people, it's got different moods depending on how much water it's had. Too much water, and it gets soft and gooey. Too little, and it gets hard and crumbly. The Atterberg limits test tells us exactly how much water it takes for the soil to go from solid to liquid and all the stages in between. This is crucial for knowing how the soil will behave under different weather conditions and loads. Next, we've got the sieve analysis. This one's all about getting granular, literally. We're talking about figuring out the size of the particles in your soil. We do this by passing the soil through a series of sieves with different sized openings. This gives us a breakdown of the percentage of sand, silt, and clay in the mix. And knowing this is like having the secret recipe for your soil. See, the grain size distribution affects the soil's strength, drainage, and compaction properties. It's essential for choosing the right backfill material, designing drainage systems, and making sure your foundation has the right support. Last but not least, we have the permeability test. This one's all about how easily water flows through your soil. Now, you might be thinking, why does that matter? Well, let me tell you, good drainage is crucial for keeping your foundation high and dry. We do this test by measuring how long it takes for water to pass through a sample of soil. This tells us the permeability rate, which is key for designing effective drainage systems. If your soil doesn't drain well, water can build up around your foundation, leading to pressure, cracks, and even leaks. That's why understanding your soil's permeability is crucial for a long-lasting structure. So there you have it, folks. These five soil tests are your secret weapons for building a structure that can withstand the test of time. Remember, taking shortcuts might save you a few bucks up front, but trust me, it's not worth the risk. Conducting these tests can save you from a whole lot of headaches, costly repairs, and sleepless nights down the road. It's about taking the time to understand your building site, making informed decisions, and ensuring your hard work stands strong for years to come. Remember, when it comes to building, a solid foundation is everything. So don't cut corners. Get your soil tested and build with confidence.